We are all the way back in full effect. This is Adventures of the Black Nerds. I am Baron J67. Oh, I'm yawning already. Yawning. <laughs> Up late, man. I, I I'm know, T bro. Jones. We're back. We are back. Video. Consistency is key. We got yeah. We got some like, some shit to talk about. Um, yeah. Game uh, of Thrones. Yeah. Season nine. Okay. Is it is season nine? Yeah. Season nine. Hey, hey, bro. Episode two. You know I'm right. What? Did you see what they said? No, I didn't see what. Oh, so remember how? Okay, folks. So last week, if you didn't listen to last week's episode, I foretold that this whole great war that they've been building up for all these seasons, all these hours, is gonna end by the third episode. Mm, and I don't know. and they already confirmed that the third episode of Game of Thrones is going to be the longest battle. In television history, mm-hmm. it's going to be longer than Helm's Deep and Lord of the Rings. It's going to be it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be carnage, death, and I think it's going to be for the full like eighty something minutes. This episode's going to be yeah, which is cool. I'm, which I'm cool with. <laughs> we got to do a cut clip showing how you was going off about that last I, week. Well, yeah, I will because. <laughs> You got to the way I was looking at it was if it, the battle happened and then it just was over. Yeah, it was the that point. There was nothing. Rat. But then you got to oh. think about it. It's a whole. Now we know for sure, sure that her Spoiler army isn't alert. coming. Yeah, yeah. Well, go watch the damn episode. Just stop right now. Go watch it. Come back. Come back. Um, okay. So, so that, long story short. Jon Snow told Daenerys that he is her nephew and he run everything. Oh, she didn't How did like you that feel shit. about that? Oh, her she whole like soul. That. She didn't like oh, that yeah. at all. And but you gotta understand that she has all right to feel that way. Yeah, she went through. She literally went through, went through hell, hell and back. Hell and, and back. And had it all. I mean, she was getting thumped by the horseman. She was getting thumped by everybody, and then she, her brother, was torturing her and trying mm-hmm. to sell her off for mm-hmm. her soldiers, and just this woman went through everything possible. Her whole arc and her whole story, and she even pre preluded to that talking to um, Sansa. Mm-hmm. She she was telling her like, my whole goal in life was to sit on that throne. Yeah, and here it is. I got with your brother, and now I'm up here in the cold with my dragons freezing. Fighting his war, so who who tricked who? Yeah, and uh, they started laughing, but then when oh her face, yeah, she I got can't imagine though, she like got everything. But I um I I also her reaction to it made it so dope because she could yeah. like I instantly could have just been like I'm out this bitch nah yeah. <laughs> nah I need to give, give myself yeah. a fighting chance. And if you going out there dying is my fighting chance, you got to think, like, what's more important? I don't think they're not going to not be together. I don't think, Mm -hmm. I think they're going to stay together. Uh, Welcome to the Game of Thrones (laughs) story. But I think they were going to, I think they will stay together. I also think that, um, I I think, I I don't think she's going to do her all. I think that uh, that dragon that that the at the the, the um I was about to say Snow King. I was gonna say Ice King. <laughs> uh, I'm I've been watching way too much Adventure Time. Yeah, I was, that's the what night, I was thinking. Uh, of, the Night King that the Night King like, has. Wait, um, is it the Night King? Oh God, it is the Night King. I'm so tired. Yeah, but look, so I I think that's gonna stop her from doing her own. When she sees that dragon, she's gonna she gonna like collapse or something. Yeah, John, I, I don't think she she wants to lose the next one. So, yeah, I actually want to see John get murdered in like the most epic way. He can't die again. I know that oh. it would it would be television wise. It would be so stupid. It it would make again. no sense to watch. Yeah, it, it'll if be he dies awesome. again. It just makes no sense to watch it. Like, Cause, do you think? Because come on, let's be real about it. Other than her. Them old people can't. They don't. They, none of them are equipped to fight that war without John. No, none of them. I are. just, I just love. Somebody made a meme and it was comedy. They were like, "Here it is. You got this young millennial who gave away his crown multiple times for the sake of humanity, only to get the biggest crown." Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like 
he just keeps turning down his greatness. He's like, no, no, no. But that's the, oh, that's the, the I don't. But that's that's the leader you want. You yes. want the reluctant leader. You don't want the eager one. Of I'm course. scared. Honestly, Daenerys always made me nervous. I'm like, ah, uh, no. I'm gonna tell you why. I was never, much. I was never nervous for her because I always, I it's respected like, it. Dope bow and arrow. Like I don't know if y'all can see that. that yeah. Now good. refocus the camera, dog. The camera oh. better refocus, or boy. Yeah, I think you're good. But anyway, yeah. like I said, um, now nah, I respected the near. Uh, I respected her. I think that the route that she took, everything that she's gone through, like I said, put her to be in the position that she's at. And I think she's fully accepted that no one will get over on me and I'm going to do whatever it takes. That's my mission. Her mm -hmm. mission was this. I mean, look how strategic she was with it. Um, oh, yeah. When, when, um, when Jamie was talking and she got upset at... Uh, I forget the little dude's name. Um, her hand. What's his oh, name? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion. So, and she, it was, yo, I, yeah, the whole smart shit, yeah, you got that. But also, that was your sister. So, more so, yeah, the strategic value of it. Hey, I got you. You, your blood to them. I got to kill y'all. Hey, so on, a, on some real stuff, no. Mm -hmm. What's the over under on the black people making it out of Game of Thrones? Oh, this under. <laughs> that's not that's not happening, dog. That's not, oh, that's God. not happening. Great. Cold hey. come on, think about it. We are Bro, not like, built for the cold. No, but and no, we for either. damn sure not built for a lady that I'm just thinking about the two fronts. We not built for the cold. Got hell no to the sea. Hey, we not going hey. northeast nowhere. <laughs> hey, bro, you already know they didn't basically killed off Grey Worm yeah. when he was talking about we gonna get our life together. Yeah, it was like every oh, yeah, move. I, where I was like, oh, but, he did. But he, he was like, oh, we gonna go and build this life together. He has to die epic death. War. He has we to die gonna, epic death. Yeah, they gonna kill him. He, he has to die. Like you, you, bro, you, like. Or what? What if he survives though? Oh, and she died. Like she catch a random ice spear. Mm -hmm. in terms of what coffee. if? What if he? What if he survives? Okay, who's the first major character in this big war that's coming up next Sunday? Who's gonna die first? Mm. I'm trying to think. I think old dude with the eye patch is finally gonna turn. He can't. He can't die. He can't die again. I know, but yeah. I I want to see the people who've been dying to finally take the final death. <laughs> Like I want nah. them to die. No, like, he, he's gonna. I want him to fall on his fire. He's sword. gonna be that pivotal, <laughs> that pivotal death that what? that like sparks the the second fire. If he does the die, wave. yeah, he's gonna be get. He's gonna be the second one. Oh, the Lord is with us. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. You know what makes this episode so great? Everybody has a purpose, and everybody. And I'm talking about episode three. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has, they want to contribute. So there's nothing more dangerous than a dedicated person. So I'm, oh, go I ahead. think, let me tell you what I, what I, all honest answer, what I think is going to happen. Sir Brienne, or, or as people don't know, Lady, Lady Brienne of Tarth, she's going to die saving Jamie. Um, and then old boy who's in love with her, who keeps calling her the big one. Yeah, but who's going to die first? That was your oh, question. I think Lady Brienne is going to die first because Jamie's going to go out there and try to be a hero with his left hand. Mm, and, yeah. and they're going to catch him slipping. I don't have faith in his left something. hand. Do you have faith no, in his left hand? I don't. No, that's why I said. But he didn't, he didn't either. He didn't either. What did he say yeah. to the old girl? I'm not the yeah. warrior that I once was. Yeah, I'm not the golden lion. Yeah. The king slayer. <laughs> Lady Brian said, uh, "I think about those times. I couldn't do it, dog. I could not bro, do it." Bro, first I... off, could you? Okay, I could. Let's do all it. come back to last. Uh, what was it? Last season mm -hmm. when, um, or the season before when Jon Snow stood up against a whole army on his own. Oh. We that we, was we first pulled off, the sword out, <laughs> bro. No, I'm good. How? How? Ready to die? Do you have to be? How at? The, and see, for me, those—that's my favorite part of all horror movies. 
when the person who's been running all movie is like, my ankles hurt, and this killer is getting on my nerves, I'm whooping his ass. Oh, you talk <laughs> about the Samuel Jackson I'm talking snakes about on the plane. Paul. I've yeah. had it with these motherfuckers <laughs> on this motherfucking plane. When you get when when hey bro, watch your language. I know. I'm sorry. When characters get to that point, mm-hmm. that is when life happens because at some point you gotta just say screw it. Like if I'm going out, I'm taking about five of his teeth with me. Like you <laughs> ain't taking, teeth. man. I'm this- more. I'm see. I put that in the perspective of like, yo, I, I've came. I started this fight knowing I was going to die, so I'm gonna yeah. die. So John gotcha. Snow said, "I'm gonna die." It's yeah. whatever. It's going he's to happen. Death, I'm going so, to die. So he man. stood there, pulled the sword out. Then what happened? A miracle happens. You know, what, what is the feeling? What do you think the feeling is when you think all is lost and then a miracle happens? Is it, okay, cool, second breath? Ah, or is it more like, damn, I almost died? <laughs> like, I, I, woo, think, I think you're so in the moment. hmm that it's it's the second one. Damn, I almost died. All right, let's Ooh, keep fighting. Like, and no, then you, and no, you think I, about no. it later, bro. I'm gone after that. I oh y'all oh. here? Back up. Uh, I need to break oh, water. Oh, my ankles. Pause. Ah. Pause. <laughs> Going to flag like time. See fire. Yeah. No. Nah, I mean, um, I can't wait for season the next episode. Uh, it's been great so far. It's yeah. It's said everything that we've needed to see. It hasn't been in too much major action, but it's the build up. This is probably the only show that can build you up <laughs> and drag something out. And hey, so I, can't, I sure it. can't wait. I sure can't hey, wait. Other, you know what they were saying? This is one of the last uh, times in my in the last couple of years where one of the few times in the last couple of years where people are anticipating TV. Mm-hmm. Because you we've have, because we have complete access to everything exactly, at once. you know Netflix, Amazon, it, you know all these all everything these major is at your fingertips. It's instant. You know you get spoiled rotten. Um, I it's been a while since I've like looked forward to a day to watch a show. Mm. Like ooh, like oh it's Sunday. Like yeah. I'm sitting up like super late just waiting. Like oh, and then that song come on and it's like, right up. It's funny. It's funny. Like, I don't even, um, I can't tell you, I've never felt like that. Only time I felt like that was when I caught the back end of The Wire. And I was just telling people that I love The Wire. I'm going to rewatch it after I watch, which I forgot to tell you, I started watching season um, nine of The Walking Dead. Is it good? It, so far, it's been pretty good. And this is after the disappearance of Rick or before This Rick? is the season of his disappearance. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but... the the Spoiler alert. Whatever. If you ain't seen it, that was months ago. Which, actually, I'm I'm lying. It just ended in March. I didn't know that. I thought this... I thought they were at the mid-season finale part. Oh, no. They they finally hit the other stride. Yeah, they was been... I said, damn, okay, cool. I I got some content to catch up on. But so far, The Walking Dead this season has been dope. Um, they've, they, the timelines have been jumping so far ahead that it's real, like, good. Like, you got you asking questions like, oh, well, what happened to this? How did Carol get her hair so long? Like, <laughs> stuff like that. So, so far I've been enjoying that. I, I, actually, the only thing I've been doing all week is watching that, is watching uh, The Walking Dead. You, focus, man. Me mad. Um. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, and Walking Dead. Walking Dead. What made me fall off with Walking Dead was the same thing that long- the same thing uh, that that uh, Game of Thrones could do, and nobody would be mad about. Yes. Hmm. But you. But see, this is the magic of Game of Thrones, and why only reason it didn't work with. Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead has source material already out and ready, and people have read ahead. Mm-hmm. Like that whole thing with um, Negan smashing uh, what's his name's head in. Uh, I can't believe I forgot his name. I forgot. Uh, his name, bro. 
What was his Glenn, name? Glenn, 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 Glenn. Glenn. Yeah, smashing in Glenn's head in. For one, that the clip from the uh, graphic novel had been shared all over the internet, like well in advance. You would be surprised how many people didn't even know there was graphic novels about it that are true, true. World of uh, Walking Dead fans. Yeah. I was actually pretty shocked. Because no, it's funny, it, I didn't read the graphic novels until I was like four seasons in. That's when it, I read. Um, that's when I read uh, the graphic novels, and I caught back up to it. So now they're at the third installment, pretty much. So it has to end soon, pretty. Yeah, and there's so many major deaths that happened that shouldn't have happened, and there's so many different people who should have died who Rick, didn't die. People who aren't real. That Rick are, shouldn't have have had a hand. And you know the only Darryl reason is it's not a real that, character. Yeah, Daryl's not a real character. Or Merle. Um, the only reason they didn't cut Rick's hand off, and they always play it on it in a lot of episodes, was because functionally, it was easy to do in a comic book because they're drawing it. But to actually have him with one hand running and jumping and climbing fences and doing this, that, and the other, it would it wouldn't have been. That's the it would have been complicated. Bruh, and that's the only reason they gave Jesus his sidekick a oh, hand. They could have most definitely gave him the same thing. Yeah, but look, it's Jesus' society. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about that funny meme that's probably going to get me sent to hell for laughing too hard? Uh, don't they tell had me Jesus. I don't want to die on the internet. <laughs> hey, they had Jesus rising up, and then they had the Ghostbusters behind them. <laughs> trying to catch Dude, You better chill, bro. <laughs> Bro, why do you feel I, like why do you feel like episode fifty what three or fifty two? I think fifty two yeah. is the one to thread the needle with the Jesus. <laughs> bro, <laughs> what are you? Uh, what are you, hey, Brett Favre of the internet? You better chill. Hey, bro, I just thought it was the funny because it looked like a real painting. Like you had to pay attention to what was happening. Okay, if now you, if it was painted, would you hang it up <laughs> in your crib in your game room? Would you do it? Matter of fact, if it was painting and you walked by it inside of a convention, would you buy it? <laughs> uh, see? This is the thing. Because that was, it's pure gold. <laughs> it is pure gold. It would be one of those pieces that I'd put behind a door. And the only way you could see it if I trust you enough to close the door while you're here. If you're in my office and I trust you enough to close my door while you're in here. That means you can see my Jesus getting captured by the Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's, it's like that secret, quit, the secret liquor cabinet. I like quit. I tap my feet and then the painting drops. Yeah, bro, you sure do that. Yeah, I'm going down the internet, man. <laughs> it, it, it's so bad, bro. I'm, light I'm you terrible. Up. I'm so terrible with it. But on a kind of happy note, with Game of Thrones. Um, I'm actually excited to see who's going to get murdered in the worst way possible. What would make it happen is if nobody died. I'd be kind of mad. I wouldn't because then somebody would have, then you would know a few people have to die when they go fight Cersei. Uh, I want to, honestly, I want to see it so bad. I want to see everybody so disheartened and rattled. I want it to look like a medieval nuke went off and everybody's like walking around like saving Private Ryan. You see a dude holding his arm. <laughs> like, I just, I want to see complete catastrophe. Yeah. I need that. We, I need to We already it. know what's going to happen, Doug. Bro. The plan, the act, the plan is going to actually work. I think Bran is going, uh, okay. The I think plan Bran is going to work. Bran's think, plan is going to work. I think Bran's going to get stabbed by the Night King and then turn yeah. into the Night King. Yeah, but his plan is going to work. Oh, yeah. He's good. He's and then it's this, it's gonna be like the cycle is complete. Uh huh. What and, if, and gonna... what if he becomes it, but he's totally different? Like, mm. you know, like oh, I'm gonna just get my people back up, and we gonna go that way. <laughs> yeah, wait, y'all good? Don't worry, we going that we way. We good. I ain't got no motive. I'm in this wheelchair yeah. for life. I'm good though. I'm, I'm good, man. I got a dragon hey, or two hey, what if, or what three. Brand, <laughs> right? What a brand just stands up like mid show. It's like I got you. And then oh, I'll get it's over. I, then, that's my second win. The, the second win is right there. I'm good. I got it. Up. He's like, my people are dying. This they need me. Bro, he's standing. Oh, you hear his knees crack. 
Um, All right, no. so, so okay, let me give you my overall list of people who I think are gonna die. Okay, Brian, uh, uh, Sir Brian of Tarth is gonna die. Mm-hmm. I think one of the Starks is gonna die. Who I don't know, one of them is gonna die. Um, Theon's gonna die. He's yeah, gonna it's, die. It's about time for him. About yeah, time. Theon's gonna catch the blade. Um, yeah, you, oh, that actually falls into the plan. He's mm-hmm. gonna die trying to protect Bran. Mm-hmm. He's gonna die a, a powerful death. Somebody gonna come out of nowhere mm-hmm. and get the final arrow. And then um, I think Davos is gonna die. I okay. think they're just gonna kill off all the accessories. Probably about time, yeah. Yeah, I think they're gonna they're gonna weed weed out all the accessories. Yeah. I think and who I feel like somebody's gonna die in uh what's his name's hands? Who? Uh Tyrion's hands. He's gonna be holding somebody. It's gonna be the dude he was uh the dude the squire. That, what's his name? Uh the dude that dude gave the sword to. Oh Jor um Jorah's son. Yeah. Mormont's son. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot his name. But uh or I think his name is Jorah. That no, dude I think big, he a big that. old dude yeah. with thinning you know, hair. You know he's playing Batman in the um in the the Titans show. Bro. Batman man. goes crazy. Oh for spoiler. Heavy spoiler. I apologize. What's everybody. wrong with you, bro? Bro, I'm just out here living Batman, life. Listen, man. I'm on the edge. Ben Affleck fucked up. Excuse my language. <laughs> you, yeah, you over here cussing. You trying to get it shut down. We trying to get monetized. I'm trying to sell out. I'm sorry. And you over here talking. Disney ain't gonna want us. Ben Affleck destroyed my whole Mood really? When it came to Heck yeah, he's horrible, oh, horrible man. How was Ben Affleck horrible, bro? What? Was How you go from coming? Christian Bale to Ben Affleck? All right then. <laughs> First off, Christian Bale's a method actor. I don't care. Christian Bale, Christian Bale's is legit. He is legit. He can play anything. He play crackhead, and he do a good job. Real killer. I'm just Batman saying. And, and then he played Batman. And- I I like the idea of end of the road, Ben Affleck Batman. I liked it. I don't. I, I like Batman at the end of his time being Batman, because he's he's grumpy, like all this, like he's just over it. I'm. I like people when they get to that point. I'm like, oh yeah, you done. Yeah, like when people but, get ready to retire. Have you ever came across somebody who's about to retire at work? Yes. <laughs> they are the best. So imagine Batman, like, uh, look, little thug, uh, you know, they're selling drugs on the corner. He beat the living snot out of him, got him tied up with a batarang. Yeah, this. But like, they <laughs> most definitely could have found somebody else. I'm 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 not I'm not bitter because Christian Bale isn't didn't play Batman. I'm upset okay. that they didn't find somebody better to play Batman. Who? I don't know. Batman okay. is just like a selective this, thing. This we're going off tangent. Magic. Just remember that. No, no, we're not, but this is the ma- this is always the magical question when it comes to Batman. Could you picture Ben Affleck being Batman? No. That's why he's a great Batman. Hell no. <laughs> That's what makes him a great Batman. How dare you, you say that? You, you just couldn't tell. You just couldn't tell me that he, was he a better Batman than Christian okay. Bale. No, I, no, I'm not gonna say that. I still think Michael Keaton is one of the best Batman, but that that's my my perspective. But let me tell you, if you can't picture that person being Batman, that makes them a good Batman. No, it does not. Cause you yes, picture they give you, dude, what's the dude? Your, what's the dude's the name that's playing uh, Joker? Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Cause you picture him playing Joker. Yeah. All right then. I can yeah. picture him playing Joker. I'm not yeah, mad at that. Ben crazy. Affleck is hard. Tell me, what movie did you like Ben Affleck in? Dogma, the uh, accountant. The accountant uh, was cool. I give you uh, that. I actually liked the accountant. The accountant was solid. Yeah. Um, was it Goodwill Hunting? I think he was in Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, he was one of his friends. Um, uh, d- uh, what was it? Was it Dogmata or uh, Dogma? You it just said Dogma. Dogma. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what other movie off top. Oh, uh, was it Days and Conf- not Days and Confused, but um, 
I feel like you I just name it movies now. No, Days and Confused. He was Listen, walking around Power Rangers. Ben Rangy, Affleck is beating not beating the crap out of kids, bro. I'm over that. And then he played Daredevil. Oh, so now you just mad? Why we gotta do? <laughs> and all then that? he played Daredevil. <laughs> Why? Nobody even brought that up. We weren't even talking about Marvel. Like you didn't he play Daredevil. <laughs> we. All right, I'm off the Batman thing. No, nah, man, no, you can't be on. Yes, Batman. I can because. Okay, so who's the worst Batman of all time? I don't know. I, I I'm a I'm okay. It's, that's hard for me. To, ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Why do you hate Superman so much? He's more human than me." <laughs> uh, now nah, I'm more. Um, yeah, no, nah, it's hard for me to say that because I got. I'm a diehard Batman fan. Got you. Like, so, you know, this is where it the, it comes from. Like the meme, I got, the, I had that as my wallpaper. The meme where it's like the Flash, Superman, and then it's Batman, and then it's like I'm Batman. Like that was like some that, real. Yeah. That's some real. Like talk. that motivates yeah. me. Because <laughs> for and the funny thing is, even though we know he doesn't have super speed, we honestly feel he could have won that race. Of course. Like that, he's prepared for it all. Anybody was, that has a million and one ways to think is a dangerous person. Who I think even in the in that movie, in the Justice League movie, they're like, oh, what's your superpower? He's like, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> Free time and training. Man, that's all it is. <laughs> Unlimited Pre- income. Prepared for anything. My own Department of Defense. Well, I, yeah, so Ben Affleck. Enough of that. Dang, actually, I, actually, we should segue into the GameStop thing. Ah, GameStop. Okay, so oh, GameStop. No, no, no. PS4. The PS4 claim thing. P- oh, okay. So PS4. So basically, we've... Okay, now if you guys have listened to our previous shows, mm. you've heard us argue and go back and forth over digital content, physical content, so on and so forth. And I've actually went over to a majority digital content, uh, and I vowed to never get rid of any of my physical content games that's kind of and life any, now life now is uh, yeah. digital content yeah um well life for us because what people need to realize and remember a lot of people still buy physical games yeah like this uh, a big majority of people buy physical games um but so one fear of mine that i believe i brought up before was if i lose my account i'll lose my games yes you you did bring that up all right, that was a big fear of mine. Well, there was a gentleman who's uh, anonymous as the Angry Gamer. Um, he claims that play he broke PlayStation uh, PlayStation Network's rules uh, for what was it called? Uh, hate speech, and yeah. which he admits he was given hate speech. Like he goes into depth. I'm, we're not going to go okay, into depth so about what he said, said but that, hold on, it said that email notes were specifically. That the user was in violations of the service of policy on hate speech, yeah, which prohibits racism, sexism, xenophobia, or hate directed at religious beliefs, cultural identity, gender identity, or sexual orientation. Now, okay, I'm not sure I if he am, touched on all of that, but he he did. He okay. absolutely did. Now he said some really crappy things that we've probably all heard in a modern warfare lobby, oh, I but. Know, I have. But, yes, he broke the rule. So I'm trying to acknowledge all the facts because I hate ignoring the facts. I don't want to talk from a standpoint of just, oh, well, I think, no. Your like, opinion I'm just, can come afterwards. Yeah, yeah opinions is going to come after I lay out some groundwork. So, yes, he broke the rules. Yes, he agreed to the rules. But still, the fact of the matter is he bought, if he would have had these games physically, he would still be able to play these games Physically, exactly. But because he owned these games digitally, his account got banned due to his acts, which went against the the rules. Mm -hmm. He now has no access to all those digital games. Now, me personally, I think they're I I think that's wrong. Um, because that shit is wrong. Yeah, excuse my no. Yeah, it's it's wrong because now you're basically stealing. You know, whenever somebody breaks the rule, they don't lose all their property unless they're being sued for their property. Mm-hmm. So unless 
PlayStation's coming at them and the form of a lawsuit and what they want is their property back, which is the games that they sold. Okay, but just to take away my account, which in turn take away all my digital content, that I feel like that's going to open up a landslide if this happens more often. Yeah. And you're going to just because, or just to to clarify something, they didn't completely take his account away from him. And no matter how you look at it, it's still wrong. He was on a one-week sus- suspension for violating the terms of service. Now, what everything you say still fits. I don't care if yeah. it was for a day. I bought it. Yep. And this it's is my money. And what did I say to you? I was trying to check if these were the free games that you get over a uh, every yeah, month. Yeah, PlayStation Network. Which yeah. it didn't say that it was. Not PlayStation Plus. Man. Now, if it now. If it was the free games that you got, okay, that's different. I can that's understand that account. exactly, and those are based off of your your PlayStation Plus. Yes. Now, but one can argue you pay for that. Yeah. You drop sixty this... bucks on that for a year. Now, I subscribe side... for that. Super oh, sidebar. Super sidebar. Borderline off topic. Probably is. This is how I feel <laughs> about school. Higher level education. Mm-hmm. I've always felt this way. How can I pay for a service which is this class? And how I pay, I'm paying for it, whether it's through loans, regardless. You got money for this. Money came into this. I'm paying yeah. for it. I'm paying to be taught. How can I pay for a service and then you entail fail me, but I don't get my money back? Yeah. <laughs> I said it, it, this fits. This actually fits with it, this. It does like, fit. <laughs> like, I'm trying to justify. How can you, how can, I failed at agreeing to your terms. Mm-hmm. I said yes, I agreed to the contract, but have you ever read record, those though? Because it oh, could be, say it, it breaks it down. No, it. I don't doubt. I've read. Um, I had to start reading them once I started getting more into the streaming stuff and going through terms and conditions and whatnot. You I, know, oh, what, I, no, I meant, I meant for school. The reason why I said that oh. is because it, oh, it may, could break what if it, it does yeah. say like, okay, hey, you, you pay for this, but if you don't, you know, we earn don't, the grade we don't that you guarantee you a degree exactly. Yeah. So, but it's just the whole concept. Yeah, like here it is. I'm paying for a service. There's not too many things on this planet that you can pay for, and then it turn out, and they can legally just screw you. Yeah, no. even if you screwed yourself by not participating or being there, but it's still I paid for a service, but yeah, you can tell me. Eh, no, not good enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm paying for the opportunity for me to earn a grade. For me, you're really just paying for an opportunity. That's it. Yeah, that's really what you're doing. Yeah, but but now back to this. He was wrong, hundred mm-hmm. percent. No questions asked. But for the folks out there, and let me know in the comments or hit us up on social media. What do you guys do? You think that he should have lost access to his games for good or even temporarily? Yeah. Now, now, what do you think? I think that he should have lost access to PlayStation Network. Okay, um, that's fair. I don't think they should have taken his game. Anything that he bought, that he actually bought, like this is the games that I bought, like 100% own these games, he should mm-hmm. still have access to it. Because once you take away PlayStation Plus, then you start losing features in the games. So if there's uh-huh. online features in the games, stuff like that, that's more than enough punishment in its own because ninety nine percent of adults that play video games play online. Are online only. Yeah. So I mean, even mobile games are making their way into that realm of, or and it, it's been for a few years now that Where it's online always gaming. Online so connected. exactly. Yeah. So I think when you're dealing with that, that you have to be very mindful that hey, listen, this is something that they purchased. I have a whole account with you. I subscribe to you for a whole year, and then you got to ask yourself. Is this shit gonna put my shit on pause? Because yeah. I I bought this shit and I'm supposed yeah, do to do I lose this months? week of time? Yeah. Am I is it on, am I on pause or am I being suspended being and I don't get that time back? That is up for debate parent. right there. Based off yeah. of what he did, that really is up for debate. But I just don't think that you should blatantly because you we may look at it, oh it's just a week, whatever, or they may even look at it like that. But I want my whole week. Can you imagine you pay for a whole year and they say, oh, yeah, well, you know, July 1st through the 3rd, you said something on while you was online. So we took three days. It took who? 
Take what? Yeah. You know, I most definitely. And I would like three days worth of pay. Exactly. No, and not and not because I feel like I shouldn't be punished for breaking the rules. That's Mm -hmm. that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying though is, you need to make sure you're not stealing from me. And that's what it is, in a sense. That's period. Stealing my time. It's mine. And you're telling me I lost it, and this and this is where it this is where it gets murky, and why it's such an issue for me. If he had the physical version of all those games, which he did mention that his physical copies physical worked, games worked, but his digital ones did not, and yeah. that's where it lost me. Either kill my whole account, my whole system, my whole everything, or just make it to where I can't go online. But we, we're talking about the same company that barely allowed. People to change their usernames, yeah. so maybe they just don't have an interface in order. To no, I don't you know. think it's that. I, I just think I think that they they're hell bent on keeping it this way. The G-rated. reason being is because think, think of how many issues. Think of the issues I had when I changed my name on Xbox. Oh yeah, you and lost games and stuff. Exactly. So think of that, and then I think it was more so. Hey, listen, you created this account. Everything is linked to it. So like your email, t- literally to go change your email onto your account, you got to go into your computer, you got to log into Sony Entertainment mm-hmm. and go through that process that way. Um, they, I think they literally tried to lock it down to where PlayStation, like even even back when PlayStation 3 was out, remember everything was, a, was on this system. So remember mm-hmm. when people were hacking their PlayStation 3s to get God mode on Modern Warfare 2, they were perma banning the system. So if you mm-hmm. wanted to play online, you had to go buy a whole system. new system yep. again. So it was more so, I think they more so want to control the system out here and not make it so interchangeable where it's like, oh, plug and play this one, plug and play that one. You know, they're trying, th- I just thought they were trying to alleviate that. I was pretty upset about the whole name change thing because I'm like, yo, you're Sony. Come on now. Really? This big corporation full of innovative um, tech people. Like, mm-hmm. why are we having issues as small as me being able to change my name exactly but, that, I, but but you know what that is that's showing proof that they built off of the older model and mm-hmm. added on which isn't always a bad thing but problems like that arise when you just continuously build on top if you're trying to change something core up the top but not at the bottom uh. that's why you lose games things don't sync right yeah because technically you know you're now being read as two people instead of one yeah um yeah, it, they, it's or like think about it think about it like this remember when I, I we were trying to do the game sharing thing mm. and um it was telling me that i couldn't do it because i i was my home playstation was an old playstation that i didn't yeah. have anymore so which it, and then you couldn't even do it from your playstation to cancel yeah I had to sign into Sony Entertainment and I had to do a a hard reset of all of my activated PlayStation accounts, anything, P- Vita, PSP, anything that was activated as my home system had to be pretty much um, reset. And that's mm. how we ended up getting it to work. So they, I, I think what you said was is 100% correct because they are building off this old system because that's how PlayStation 3 worked. The only difference mm-hmm. is now if you want to hard reset all of your things, you you have you can only do it every three months. Why should I be limited to that? What if I buy a new PlayStation every month? What if I'm a what if I'm an arcade that I have an arcade yeah. and, and you got it all linked systems and everything yeah. is linked, but things break or I sell stuff, I I upgrade stuff. Mm-hmm. Who, I can't keep track of all it's, of this it's stuff. It's not very user friendly. And then, don't you only get to um, game share so many times? I, you can only game share with one account. No, no, no. That's fine. I'm talking about how many times you can change your game share. No, you no, can't. No, only no, no. You can. You, you, you no. make your own PlayStation. Exactly. But that no, that's and that's you can only do it. You can only hard reset it, like reset all of them, like once every three months. But I think if you have it, if you still have that PlayStation, you can deactivate it as many times as you want. Because all mm. you got to do is go into the PlayStation system and deactivate it as your home system. Whereas if you say you sold that system, you didn't have it anymore, but it was still linked. You would then have to go and wipe all of them because you don't have that system to deactivate it anymore. So mm. long story short, 
<clears throat> with the whole Sony thing, I think that they they built this whole thing to where um, it's not a, it it caters to PlayStation like the the core PlayStation group, but they've yeah. also added in the necessary adjustments for new users who are people who may have came over from Xbox. Y'all forget a lot of people move from Xbox to PlayStation because PlayStation came out first and PlayStation is popping now. So a lot of people transitioned over to PlayStation. And since that's happened, a lot of people lost out on the things that they had, i.e. the name changing and stuff like that. Like think of esports. I, I use esports as an example all the time. Think of these esports players, right? That change teams, you know, mm-hmm. every year. Now you telling me I'm stuck with Enigma Six this name, and I ain't even on Enigma Six no more. Come on now, you, you see what like I'm saying? yeah, so you gotta me. let you gotta let people adjust. Now think about now think about the money they got to fork out before they added the name change thing in. I gotta make a new account. I gotta then buy a whole new PlayStation Plus, sixty bucks for a year, because mm. I only say that because that's the only one I buy. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I got to then deactivate this account. God, Lord, no, Lord don't forbid. let me forget my password and none of this stuff. Yeah, you know, I was just about to say. So it, uh, it, it's, it's a process. It's very tedious. I mean, even when it comes to like the issues I ran into when it came to streaming. Yeah. Through even you that know, was just, an issue. Yeah, it, it's it's like it takes all these extra steps and they're doing it with good intentions. But as we all know, the road to hell was paved with good intentions. Even the, but, the the HDCP thing, yeah. When that first came out, that was a pain. And then Lord, then don't don't forget to change it back before you unplug it, oh, uh, bro. Man. Now you got to hard reset your system, hold the button down for twenty seconds, let it beat nine times. Man, that was a headache. Mm-hmm. So I think with this guy, I think he was one hundred percent wrong. But oh, yeah. Sony has flaws in the the way that they handle these situations, and I know we we kind of strayed off the the the, the plantation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we went we went all the way off. It more so, it it shows how vast Sony is and how out of touch they are sometimes with certain situations. Like you can't just this guy can't give you money for something, and you take it away. The thing that he bought from you, he didn't rent it from you. He he, it's not, you know he 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 subscribed to your whole service. To it's, not it's not it's a lease. It's not a lease. Yeah, he bought that shit. He bought those games. So he was he, he was he an get asshole. His money back. But you know he bought it. What what do you want to do? So and it, it's it's actually really scary because now it turns into a he said she said like can somebody just fake report me or lie and report me or what is their screening like? Yeah, that's you know what I mean. Like where, where, at what point did they decide? Yes, he did what he did, and it's enough to close him. Mm-hmm. And I, you know what makes it easier today's day and age is the, a lot of people stream, right? Uh-huh. A lot of people have that automatic clip thing that will post certain clips that you save on your system to your social media account. So all of this stuff can be easily obtained. Now. Do I know if they took those steps for th- with this situation, this guy? No. But am I sure that they... Am, I can probably 80% say that they they seen something to make them do that. Make yeah, them take the this, decision they made. Because this isn't a common occurrence. Exactly. And it, this is not... You don't get a bunch of articles and hear a bunch of stories about people getting banned. But now that this story is out, Maybe you'll start seeing more reporting, mm-hmm. and maybe oh, you'll yes. start seeing more. Ba- and then you know, as we know, we're getting to the last cycle. You know, we're getting to the last, uh, the last days of these new consoles mm-hmm. or these this range of consoles, which makes sense because I think we've been rocking with them for what five, six years. I don't know. I can tell you right now. Well, while he's looking up that, um, let's you know jumping over to. Uh, GameStop's new policy since two th- November two thousand thirteen. See what I mean? Yeah, six years. Six years. It's about time. It's time for a new console. You know, that's a that's a good stretch. Six years is a long time. Um, to be rocking with one setup, and then if it's anything like how the PlayStation Three and PlayStation Two were, 
God, man, yeah, those consoles that's, went it's, on it's forever. It's a cycle. PlayStation yeah, 3 it's came a cycle. out in 2006. See? It's, it's just a cycle. It's just natural. So Five to see. six years. And two came out in... Yeah. Two Five came to six out years. in 2000. March 2000. That's how it goes, man. Wow. And then you got to think, like, I honestly thought Days Gone was going to be released on the new system. It should have. The amount it, of time it been easily pushing it could back. have. Yeah, they could have just pushed it back one more, one wow. more summer. So it, it has been in six to seven year increments. Yeah. Because that's... PlayStation came out 94. Dang. Yeah. 94. December 94. That's crazy. And yep. then medieval and spiral. Mm-hmm. So hey but on to, but uh go ahead. No, what were you about to say? Because uh I know we No, still have I, the I was game. gonna say I was transitioning into Days Gone and talking about how it could have been on the new consoles. Yeah. Um especially with all the delays and pushbacks that it's had. Well, we all know it's coming out officially um the twenty sixth. Or that's what they say it's coming out. Yeah, that's what they say. It's a street date. Um, I'm I'm shocked nobody's online streaming it right now, breaking all type oh, of embargo. You know somebody got it already. Somebody's, somebody's Some, at home. Somebody playing. recording the shit. Somebody got it out. We got all the tutorials ready to go live. Man, I tried that once. I, I got an early title of a game. It is so hard. It it was almost unenjoyable. But that's yeah. not the point. Um, with Days Gone, GameStop is actually offering this process called Guaranteed to Love It. Days Gone. So basically, you have long story short, you got forty eight hours from the date of purchase in between the twenty fifth through the twenty eighth, based on some somebody leaked some GameStop promotional images, and um, you get the fifty nine ninety nine, but it does not include tax, and the game can be open and played. So, so I wonder if they're gonna take this process on um, permanently for all major releases. Or is this just something special? They're, not. They're testing this out. But you you brought up a good point. Maybe Sony has this much faith in this game. He, the, okay, so that and was you can jump on that. So that was my first point. My first point was that Sony may. Okay, so now that I say that, maybe this is the strat. Maybe this is strategy right here to like, sell why not this buy game. It? Yeah. If this game, if they have that much faith in the game, they say, oh, you're not going to return it. So we're going to give you the option to return it. And get all your money and back. And get money everything back. you get, you got, right? Or it's a strategy to, you know, hey, listen, it's here. Play it. People are going to want to play it, get everything they, they can get out of it before the game dies off because it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, it's a single player experience. Yeah. So... I That's think on, that PlayStation only. There's no way that this game should fail. The amount of times no. they put into they they put into pushing this game back, the amount of dang demos we've seen for this, how it how immersive the game looks, it shouldn't fail. It should be that it's good weird. where people don't yeah. want to people don't want to uh bring it back. So, this could be their strat. This could be their their marketing strat, which which I don't doubt it is, but I also think that um, I, well, I'm, I'm not, don't, I'm not saying this is factual, actual, factual. I'm just saying that the game, from me following it, it looks amazing. I think yeah. it's going to be good. I'm going to get it day one. So I'm going to have the game. Unfortunately, this don't work for me because I'm buying it digital. So I'm good. Um, and and then my next point to that was the was the fact that um actually or actually that was it. I just didn't think I don't think that uh the game is going to fail that bad. I don't think that it's going to be um I don't think it's gonna set GameStop back. I also do think that they're never gonna do this again because people are going to take advantage of it. So this was my yeah. second point to it. People, you got your diehard gamers. People, I, I think uh, when my this is the point I brought up with Anthem. This is the point I brought up with the Division. This thing I bring up with Destiny. Uh, a lot of these games, and you can even God of War. You can bring up the fact that people want to destroy these games. Hell Everybody so. is trying to beat the game first, beat the game fast, find the easiest way to do it. Find the cheesiest way to do it. Find 
all of the secret hidden abilities so they can put it on YouTube, so they can stream it, so they can profit from it. Very um, true. I That is the process. Yeah, exactly. So that's going to happen with DayZ. The game is going to come out. Somebody's going to beat the game in 10 hours, and they're going to bring this sucker right back. You know what I'm saying? That's how it works. People don't understand that. And developers don't understand that as well. So when you get a game, when you when you punish somebody, or um, and I'm I was in that point, I was making for Anthem, or you take mm. something away from somebody because they found this way or they did this way, or that you was give so them, bad. or you give them the option to return the game, they're gonna have, return it regardless. They're gonna return this. They're gonna beat the game as fast as possible and give it back. Yeah, I think they. And I think some, people. And I guarantee, I guarantee you, someone's going to record it and put it on YouTube. The whole game. The title yep. is going to say "Beat Daisy in 15 hours." Returned it the next day. Days gone, but yeah, oh, I days got gone. You. I said Daisy. My bad. Days um, gone. but but you know what though, I I think this is a this is going to be an interesting experiment experiment, <laughs> and I think more people are going to return it than they anticipate. Like you said, I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, and I <sighs> I don't blame them either. Yeah, because it's they're utilizing, following the rules. You gave them the a resource. Rules. You know, yep. so this is you set the groundwork. This is why I don't think I don't think they'll never do this again. I think they'll go back to their policy because the policy. Granted, I I don't I'm I I stopped returning games as I became an adult. Yeah, same. So here. I this I'm not the. I'm not the kid that's trying to return games to get enough money to buy a new game. Yes. Anymore. So I think a lot of people who wish I could buy more time to play them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If a lot of if there's kids out there that's doing that, I would 100% take advantage of that. Yeah. Oh, you telling me I got 48 hours to beat this game and the game come out on a Friday? Oh, murdering. Murdering oh. the game. I will Let do me everything. I will yep. don't don't talk to me. Family, don't bug me. Put the food under the table, under the door. Don't, don't early release this game. Ooh, come out on a Thursday night. Ooh, bro, 8, 10 o'clock. All, bro, I'm not going to school. I'm ditching school. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the cool thing about digital releases when they release on uh, East Coast time. Because mm-hmm. then first. we're getting it at 9. Yeah. yeah. So, I, that... That's my point with it. I don't think that they'll ever do this again. I think this will be the... Somebody's going to exploit it. Yeah. We're gamers. That's what gamers do. They exploit these things. <sighs> so, I think that was it, man. I think we hit everything today. Yep. Uh, un- um, yeah, you we, know did, that. We, we did talk about the PlayStation 5 release, so... Oh, yep. I, uh, we didn't... All right, well, we we did get another... We did get... Uh, we have a couple minutes, so let's, let's speak on uh, PlayStation 5. Oh, the price point and yeah. then the specs. Yes. Okay, so there's rumors that it's going to be around four hundred bucks, which I doubt it. Um, I really do doubt it. I'm thinking it's going to be closer to five hundred on release, uh, like a four forty nine type thing. Um, you don't, but think you don't think they'll take the same approach that they took. The the, it would be 4? smart. It would be smart. Mm-hmm. It would be the smart thing to do, but I I think it all depends on if Xbox uh, releases their system first. I, I think it all depends. Now, with obviously these two juggernauts being their one and only competition because they're only in this round. They're the only ones in this round that have that have the back and forth competition. True. Uh, do you think it would be wise for Xbox to do that? Yes. Because this is the same cycle. PlayStation Xbox. announced first. Xbox announced next. PlayStation drops first, Xbox drops next, and it doesn't end well for Xbox. It doesn't end well for whoever launches second. It always goes that way. Because hmm. remember what happened with Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Yeah, but Xbox 360 was naturally the better system. Yeah, but, but and also... PlayStation 4 is naturally the better system. Yeah, I got you. So if but... Xbox drops the better system... Than PlayStation or yeah, or the Xbox. What's it called? The Scarlet or the it's Project Scarlet? Yeah, or Xbox Two. But um, I personally, personally, I think whoever catches the wave first mm-hmm. and comes out with three to five games up front, 
It's it's normally like three games and then backwards compatibility. That's usually how it goes. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna um, kill the game though if Xbox drops first their 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 service. Oh if yeah. They drop and their service works like like that. Man, they don't kill the game. Yeah, because and then you see they already did that whole ultimate where you get Xbox Live and you get Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, for I think it's like eighteen a month or something I, like that. I, to and be you honest, get a- I think they need to cut all of that stuff out. This is my opinion. They need to dumb it down. They need to have the service, mm-hmm. and then Xbox Live, and then that's how it is now. But they with- just converted it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. They just went to it's it's called like Xbox Ultimate or something like that, where you get instead of just paying separately nine bucks a month and so, whatever a month. You are you can pay a combined like I think it's like fifteen or sixteen a month, and you get oh, Xbox okay. Live and Game Pass. Okay, and I was like, oh, that's genius. Yeah, and they're putting some dope games on Game Pass, man. Like some real, real I'm, dope stuff. I'm starting to realize that that's what people want. People want yeah. the accessibility, they, even if they, they won't play ninety percent of it. Exactly, they, they just want, want to accessibility. know it's there. Look, look at look at you earlier today. Download the games. You, I can't. I'll tell never you play them. Go never play them. I want you to download them no, because one them day so I can have I'm it. gonna get the time and I'm gonna play them games. So because I would hate to get to a point of wanting to play the game and then I gotta buy it because you who's sitting right there in front of your PlayStation didn't download it. I'm gonna download it for you. I'm gonna get Thank it for you. you. Yeah, I want so, search. I'm I'm cool. The search two is coming out. Okay, I'm gonna get it. Dang man, dang. Okay, right. so I'm cool with the. I I think the price point at four ninety nine is probably where it's gonna be at. If it is at five ninety nine, if it is at six hundred bucks, I'm not going to. You think it's gonna drop at six? I don't. I mean, for, yeah. but with everything yeah. that they're saying that's gonna be in there, six hundred bucks still ain't bad. No, it's not. But for me, at where I'm at. For six hundred dollars, I would rather get a um, some PC parts. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, you, but you, that you, won't work for you because you don't PC game that much. So you can buy all the PC parts you want. You would you would probably have a better time pay, dropping the six for the system and playing the system than you would have with PC parts because what why why have it, the same reason why you haven't switched over to PlayStation Five. Is that all your friends are on Xbox? All your friends don't PC game as like like how you would like to sure. like them to. Sure. So okay. I think that this is why I said PlayStation and Xbox they have this market cornered. Yes, you got Nintendo over here, you got PC Actually, over here. What you just said is really funny because that goes back to what we talked about earlier mm-hmm. of why no matter what PC does about that article you talked about, no matter what PC gaming does, consoles will always be around and they will always do well because of the ease of access, Mm -hmm. because of the familiar, same reason why people buy MacBooks, even though we all know they, that's not the best laptop you can get. Hell no. Keyboards are not the best, you know, it's not, I'm not even trying to bash, but it's just brand familiarity. Like people, if you've, Apple everything, you're going to feel more comfortable buying it. I've heard plenty of people, well, I have a bunch of Apple products, so... Yeah, they all do the same damn thing. I'm going to go buy a a MacBook. Like, if that's the only reason you buy a MacBook, you are... You're losing it. But I'm not bashing, I'm just calling it calling it what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, Because if Apple wants to sponsor me... You sell out. I can't (laughs) sell on y'all. I would say it every episode. Oh, I can't wait for that big billion dollar company to come by and throw that money and say, do this. I'm like, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, on a final note, I had a post blow up on uh, in this group I'm a part of. And I've said, basically, I was like, look, look, folks, we really are Wong in the Avengers world. We are Wong. We are not T'Challa. T'Challa is the dream version of us. We would all, if all that went down, we would all be like, you know, I got to go to the sanctum. 
I got to get back to the same. That's the real us. Be honest. Look deep inside yourself. You just fought Thanos' kids, and you barely survived. And two people out in space. And I'm going to look at all this and be like, wow. I need to go protect the Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all let me know how it goes. Uh, who I, be? But me, I, I'm, that's I'm, me I'm, naturally. I'm, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to save the world. I can save me and mine. Like I can work on me and mine. Like I gotta go protect the. the that's. Library. I, I I'm not the hero. I can't be a hero. I've never identified with like the superhero. I may like Batman a lot, but but I'm more like. I'm more like, the Red Hood. Like. <laughs> Man, hey, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Okay, that's enough. We need to stop. I just Shout out to Tone, man. Tone, thank you for sending us on the path of comics and mm-hmm. graphic novels, man. I mean, I've always been around him, but he helped guide us mm-hmm. down this wonderful path. To the but right yeah, path. shout out to the rest of the family um, over at Tone Def Networks. And Nerds Noir is available. You guys can go buy gear there. Um, um, dang, yes. I do need that. Uh, we'll talk more later. We'll talk. And then, um, do guys, drink water, read something, listen to an audio book, go follow Gary V. Um, follow us. Follow Nerds Noir. Follow Adventures of the Black Nerds. Follow T. Jones. Follow all of that. Just live your life, but make sure to follow us. You we'll mad excited you. today, dog. Hey, well, you know, I'm just out here doing my best, man. You out here living your best, best life. I hear you. Yeah, you know, I hear you. I'm listening to Earth Gang. I feel real good about myself. You, be, you look like you've been thizzing a lot. You've been oh, well, you know, <laughs> you know, bro. I'm telling you, hey, I'm <laughs> almost to the point with a fresh twist where I could really rock out, and it's we're gonna have fun. All right. Well, I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Peace. Peace.